Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Well, that was a bad run. Let's start a new one. Unfortunately, the choices here are Mage, who I've played recently and I play a lot. Rogue, who I just came off of, and I'm not doing that again. And Warlock, who... I guess I'm going to take Warlock. Embrace the shadow. I played it as recently as Mage. Now have the benefit of a spreadsheet to show me that I don't have a good record with Warlock, which I probably would have guessed, but... It still seems like a class that I want to take because it seems like they could be stronger. Again, well, not again. I think Warlocks have weaker cards on average by a little bit to compensate for the fact that their ability is to get more cards. Or certainly their cards are weaker for the arena because it's harder to plan around and deal with disadvantages of cards. And a lot of Warlock cards have disadvantages, and that makes sense. That's how I would design Warlocks, too. But it's harder to mitigate those disadvantages when you don't have control over the cards. I'm all talking here because I'm having a hard time deciding whether I should go with the Twilight Drake, who's going to have good attack and may have, like, it's probably going to be a 4-4, maybe a 4-5 for 4 mana. Or the Nullifier, who, yeah, he's got great abilities and stuff like that. He's still a little weaker, like... I don't know, I'm going to take him because maybe I'll get good mech stuff. It's just his mech part is swaying me. He's also less vulnerable to silence and stuff than the Drake. That's not a huge deal normally. You're not good. Um, you're pretty okay. I don't know what kind of deck I'm going to have. I'm hesitant to take you this early. At least we'll take the Ogre Magi. He can sort of fight and maybe I'll have spell damage. Um, you are definitely the winner out of this row. Not knowing what demons I could send, I'm going to have. Not wanting to spend a card to get two 1-1s one that I still have to cast. Uh, I don't like Soulfire anymore with the one mana. There's a huge difference between one and zero. I don't think it's worth it. We're going to take War Golem. Crappy, crappy War Golem. Still does a job. Um, well, she heals me enough to pay for that card. Sacrificial Pact. I mean, if that 3-4 guy who, when he dies you get a minion out of your hand, or you get a demon out of your hand put into play. That's like a combo with this, but I don't have any of them yet, even though he's common. It just seems iffy. I think I'm going to take the Squire, who I normally don't take, but all my stuff is not cheap yet, so I might as well have something cheap. Oh, uh, you should balance out the cost a little bit better. This is not a great row. I guess Spiders, because they have a lot of stats for the cost, even though they're annoying. This card should help me win. I know that they... The hit point, but like the blood imp is okay. I, the other guy is horrible. Although if you happen to have the other guy out and able to attack, power overwhelming, he's great. What does the fox say? The fox says die. But no, no, normally not so good. Speaking of not so good, this. I don't know if I'm gonna have dragons. I don't know if I'm gonna have pirates. I uh, see that's a tough choice. So dragons are more likely to get maybe than the pirates, but this is much better if I don't have any. So I should take the one that's better if I don't have any. I'd much rather have a 2-3 for 2 than a 2-4 for 3. Right? If Murphy's Law feeds me a whole bunch of dragons that are good, it's probably not so bad either. Um, yeah, I don't like using Death Lord in the arena. As interesting as he is, and he's a very interesting card. Maybe in a Priest deck I'd be more tempted at this stage, but not right here. Um, just a young Priestess. She's weenish. There's the Void Collar I was talking about. Do I try and go with the Void Collar, or do I just take the big boy here? Stupid flame imps of suicide. You're not so good, unless I have a bunch of like good demons to put out. So far I have one whole demon. And he would be worth putting out, but... Eh. 3, 4, for 4, not very good. I don't have any other stuff that interacts with demons, because he is himself a demon. I think Stormwind Champion is probably a better bet. Or I could have gotten more Void Colors. I'm going to take him now, out of that row. I wish those if those had come in a different order, I probably would have gone with both Void Colors. Don't really want you. You're going to do something useful for me, I'm guessing. Uh, you should help, because I'm a Warlock. I need to heal to make up for all those cards I'm going to draw early on. Void Walker or Raptor. I guess we'll take the Void Walker. I'm pretty fond of him. Floating Watcher is awesome. Especially in the arena. Um, uh, meh, meh. I'm not going to have any mass removal, so the sheep might have been tempting, but... Now I'm really wishing I'd taken both of those, uh, void callers. 
because I've got two Dread Infernals and a Floating Watcher now. Like, maybe I should have taken the Scarlet Crusader out of that row? I don't know. I need the Hellfire, because I don't have a lot of solutions to problems. Speaking of solutions to problems, Shadow Flame is the best one. Fantastic card. I would probably play Warlock more often in Constructed if I had the, my Shadow Flames, but I don't feel like spending 800 dust to craft them. Two at 400. Fairy Dragon is pretty good. Corruption is pretty bad. Can I take another Void Caller or another Void Walker? I've got the cheap stuff kind of covered, I think. Void Caller it is, even though it's probably just going to trip me up and not be good. You aren't actually a dragon, you're just another thing that works off dragons, so I'm still right in not having chosen the other guy. I've got some big fat stuff, I don't think I need the Ventricle Mercenary. Some people think he's the be-all and the end-all, I think I'm a warlock and that I'd rather have more cheap things, as great as he is. Um, Dragon Egg is cheap, I don't have any combos to work off this. Well, actually, I've got Dread Infernals, but that's not much of a combo when he costs 6 mana and just does it once. Let's take the Implosion, it can do crazy good things. Um, I, I like Hungry Dragon, but Floating Walker, definitely, especially since I'm building up, like, Void Callers. Uh, we, the bear would probably help. I have virtually no taunt, if any. No, I just have my, like, Nullifier. But Hellfire it is. It works with the Floating Watchers, it works, okay. And there's another Floating Watcher in an otherwise bad row, so that's good. Imp Gang Boss is pretty good, let's take him. It's, it's, he's worth like a 5-7, almost always you're going to get 5-7 worth of stats, maybe not the way you want. Do I want Sense Demons? It would go with the Floating... I'm no, not Floating... I mean, it would help me get the Floating Watchers earlier, and it would go with the Void Callers, potentially. I don't know, though. That's like expensive. It's only gaining one card, but it is turning my hand into more Demons. It's a lot of mana. I think I'm better off having more stuff. Honestly, probably a mistake, but I just don't like that card particularly all that much. It does let me get my a Dread Infernal or Floating Watcher sooner, or a Void Caller to put them out with, but uh, no, I, I don't think that's going to work out well. I think I need the Taunt more, although this is like Beatdown Machine. It's much brushier. Let's go rush here. Oh. Probably regret that just like everything else. She's a demon. I don't have much that interacts with her. She's not really that good. It's not like she's good for the void callers. She's good for the power overwhelming, not much else. You are just bad for everything. Bomb lobber can kill stuff though. So that's pretty good. Alright, well, it's interesting. Three floating watchers gives me some hope. I've got three floating watchers, got a bunch of inexpensive stuff. That gives me some hope that I can at least break even with this deck. Maybe get a little farther. This definitely doesn't seem like a go all the way or get seven wins sort of deck. But, those Watchers are good. Three Watchers, two Hellfires. Hellfire works pretty well with the Watchers because as long as the Watcher starts with th more than three hit points so that it survives, it, in, it only net loses one hit point, and it gains two attack when you Hellfire. They're fairly Hellfire resistant. Gul'dan versus Jaina. They reward you for something that you're going to do anyway, drawing cards. They are not rewarding in the starting hand, oh my god. Give me things I can cast. Meh, yeah, okay. She's going to get coin shot, but I don't see much choice. I put her out, it means my opponent won't coin out a 3-2, because then she would just kill it, probably. Probably coin shoot it. It's not great for me, but I, I suspect that's better than coin 3-2, right? Knife juggler or something. Yeah. It would have to be a pretty impressive play to be better than that. Like, I guess a 2-3 would probably be worth it. And I'm going to have to start drawing cards now. Like, I don't know, maybe I should have held on to the Priestess, play this, and then next turn play the Priestess, get him one hit point, draw a card, but that still seems kind of sad. Okay. Um, uh, kill that. My spider's just going to get shot. I'm going to do that anyway. 
I don't think she has a lot of incentive to shoot this. I mean, that thing is not too big a threat out there, and mages don't have in-class minion buffing stuff, but is she going to spend her, two, her turn breaking him into things that are going to do more damage to her? It might be an investment in the future, but it seems unlikely she's actually going to shoot it. And killing that 1-1, one, one, I don't want to damage, even though it's one damage, like it's very theoretical when it's only one damage each way, I don't want to damage race as a warlock against a mage. Seems poor. So... I could hit that for one, then shadow flame one of the 1-1s one, and kill it. That is not a good play. I'm just going to let you know. Not good. So this next turn is not going to go so well. But then I can start doing stuff. Now, what I want to put this out on turn 5, probably only if the board was completely clear. If I could somehow kill all these guys at, without using my mana. I mean, all these guys is just that. But whatever she puts out, if I could kill this and whatever she puts out without do? spending mana, then do? I would probably play her. That is not going to happen. So what are you going to do? Kill that. Okay, not too surprising. Unfortunately, one of these plus that is not enough to kill that thing. So I'm looking at the bomb lobber does four. If I could kill this first, then I could get rid of that, but I'd have to sacrifice this guy. I guess that's probably worth it. I don't see a way that it's not worth it particularly. As annoying as that is. <laughs> it gives me stuff in play and her not. Although, my stuff is going to melt away really fast. Like, my big heavy hitter is a whole 3-3. Three, three. Hell, I could kill most of my army next turn just by playing this. That's okay, because most of my army will not still be around by then. Turn 7, playing one of these guys and drawing a card, that's a pretty good play. That's a 6-6 six, six and a card. Um, I think I'm going to have to blow up all my army. Yep. Maybe. Because if I hit this guy with him, then I hit him with him. And then I, I dread in front of this is gonna die. It's gonna be a. It feels like there should be a more efficient way to do that. I don't think there is. I want to play the dread infernal and kill them all. I could shadow flame this guy. Hit that for one. That's wasting my shadow flame, which is super powerful, so and I'm not getting much out of it. So I think my plan is gonna be lose everything, but I end up with a dread infernal being the only thing on the board. Because I could use these guys as three damage to kill that, and then use him to kill that, but then he's still going to die from the Dread Infernal, so I might as well hit her for two in the process. Bam. It did cost me my whole army of mostly junk to kill her one card, so that's not great. I'm slightly ahead on life. We're about the same on cards, and I have a 6-6. Six, six. So, could be worse. If she spends most of her turn killing him, then I can play one of these guys, draw a card, and also have a 6-6. Six, six. That would be good. So if she, like, fireballed him and then did Let not much else, I would be okay with that. Uh, I don't want her drawing all those cards. Is she just going to shoot him and draw a card, though? Because My if... Eyes are okay. Over. okay. Hmm. I don't want this guy out there to damage my floating water. I wanted to kill him, but I think I'm going to have to kill that and just play the floating water. I could Hellfire, which would kill both of these guys. She'd only get one card, but it would beat him down a lot, and I can't do I much else with my turn. I think I'm better off trying to get the floating waters going. I see do a draw, not that I have any zero in that power of curse. protect the water. So she could shoot him to draw a card. That's very annoying. But at this stage, I've acknowledged that it's likely to happen. He's going to draw one extra card probably somehow. I mean, she could use him to attack this, but unless she has a sergeant or a dark iron, it's not going to do enough. Flame cannon bad. Uh, does she now have a way? Yeah, she can 
Damn it. She's only getting one card from him, but she can shoot and kill this, which sucks. Good thing I've got backups. It did take her whole turn. She didn't have anything to do with that three mana. Interesting. Now, do I just go watch her again? I think I do. She has nothing on the board to stop it. That's the situation I want. Except this time I can also play a Voidwalker or a Warden. Um, she could flame strike. It's gonna kill whichever of these guys I put out. Oh, let's just put out the warden. Warden anyway. Fine. Because he takes action immediately. He's not gonna get killed by a non AOE. They're probably gonna get AOE'd. This would be a good cone of cold. Why are you so against me having watchers? It's just your mission in life to ruin their day. Okay. So you got that. I've drawn another watcher in the meantime. Uh, I have enough mana to play a watcher and Shadow Flame, so I could go bam, bam. Now Shadow Flame is going to kill him. It's not worth it. Or I meant Hellfire. Now I could hit her for six and then Shadow Flame to kill that guy. It doesn't damage her. I don't think we're at that point yet. I like think maybe I should cool it for a sec and just get out these guys and do some damage. Although we'll probably get hellfire. First kill. From the void I come. Do I want to put out both of them? Let's put, let's draw a card. Play him. And you know what? If she doesn't have a flame strike, this will be awesome. If she does have a flame strike, it'll be bad. But I do have some capacity to recover. Although, actually, ah, damn it. It would have been really nice if she didn't have a flame strike. I'm just saying. There we go. Since that came out after he attacked, that worked out okay. Okay, good stuff. I can hellfire them. I can't draw a card and play this guy, but I get, I'm going to do that draw a card anyway. The finicky cloaking device should help. That all worked out okay. Uh, I was very lucky that it that the flame strike that the void first void walker pulled the other void walker first instead of pulling him first, because then there wouldn't have been a second and it wouldn't have worked well. A little late in the game for the unstable portal to save you. It'd have to be quite a legendary or something. Uh, I don't know what you would be targeting him with. Yes, I do win this one. It was getting a little dicey, although I still had another 8 hit points in my hand. Like, I was doing well on the card advantage, that's for sure. Okay, well, at least that was a decent start to that run. Not only beat an opponent, it was actually a mage, and they're pretty dangerous. But we'll see if, I, if this deck continues to work out well like that, or if I get screwed more on my Void Callers next time. If you like this, please click the eponymous button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonet Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.